Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first episode of the 2023 Schubert World Premiere. We started with this format last year when we introduced the C5 and we are very happy to welcome again many customers and also partners from the industry and press. Again, we do the show in English for our worldwide audience and presence, but you can find a German subtitle if you click below. The news we present today follow a logical path. So maybe for some of you, it is not a big surprise, but let's see. The C5 as a flip-up helmet came first when we decided to develop a new range of helmets, all being homologated for the new ECE 2206 regulation and following the latest technological developments in material and production. The feedback on this helmet has been extremely positive and demand has been huge since we introduced it. Of course, that makes us proud, but unfortunately, this came with a kind of negative side effect. Even after having increased production capacity, we are not able to follow the demand. With the current environment of supply chains and labor shortage, we are fighting hard, but still cannot offer the delivery service we want to. I can assure we will keep on pushing hard on this. But back to the logical step. Touring adventure, sport touring and commuting are the core segments at Schubert. So, after having renewed our top-of-the-range flip-up helmet in 2021 with the C5, the second natural step for us was the renewal of our adventure helmet. And here it is, our brand new E2. Today, after three years of development time, I am very proud to present to you the brand new E2 flip-up adventure helmet. With this project, we use the same approach as with the C5. Professional project management, internal and external design and technology know-how, and maybe most important, input from our customers and end users. As a result, the E2 came out as a high-end and high-tech adventure helmet, following the same principles as every Schubert helmet. Highest passive and active safety, compact shell and low weight, highest comfort and noise insulation, and fully connected with an integrated COM system. On all these features, we want to share with you some more details now and I think that should be done by the right experts from our company. So, let's welcome on stage Matteo, who is responsible for our motorcycling business unit. Thank you, Christoph, and thank you for the introduction. I'm really happy to be here to present you our new E2 and all its features, which in our opinion make it the best partner for your long adventures on two wheels. The new E2 is the second generation of Schubert Adventure helmets. And we are sure that thanks to all its features, it will allow us to aim to a leadership position of such a competitive segment. The E2 is based on the C5 with its perfect fit and shell performance. But to make it more suitable, also for long rides of road, it features different chin and top vents and a large air extractor and obviously an adjustable and removable pick. At Schubert, developed the best head protection technology is and will always be our main mission. So also for the E2, safety was at the heart of the project. Our new E2 features the PJ double homologation, which allow a dual use of the helmet with open or closed chin bar and has been approved against the new ECE 2206 standard. There are many differences between the new norm and the old one. The first one is the number of test points on the helmet shell. Here you can see an helmet where we marked the test points of the two standards. 
According to the old EC2205, helmets were tested on seven points. These test points are obviously as well part of the new norm, but on top of them, the new EC2206 has introduced 17 additional test points. In addition, the new standard introduced as well different test speeds, the rotational impact test, and many additional requirements, such as the obligation to test and homologate the intercom system. To cope with the new standard and to reduce the weight of the helmet, the glass fiber composite shell of the E2 is produced with our patented data fiber processing technology and reinforced with carbon fiber. Finally, as all our helmets, the new E2 obviously features the Schubert anti-roll-off system, which consists in two additional safety belts connected to the chin strap and attached at the back of the helmet via rivets. Another key feature of the E2 is the new adjustable and removable pick, which is a must-have of any off-road and adventure helmet. As you can see, adjust the pick is extremely easy and quick. Indeed, it's enough to unlock it, pushing down the two levers, and then adjust it to your favorite position. For the development of the E2 pick, our technicians spend multiple hours in our property wind tunnel, and every single hedge and air intake of the peak has been designed to offer the best possible aerodynamic and our acoustic performance. As a result, at 100 km per hour on a naked bike, the new E2 is just 2 decibel louder than the C5, which is currently the benchmark in the premium flip-up segment. Nevertheless, with the E2, we wanted to offer to our customer multiple helmets configuration. So we designed the peak mechanism not only to be easily adjusted, but also to be easily removed. Remove the peak is a child's play. You'll just have to turn the two locks on the side of the peak and remove it from the visor. And if you want to ride without peak, in the helmet box, you'll find two plastic cover to close the housings on the visor. While riding long distances off-road and on-road, another crucial point to have an outstanding comfort is the ventilation of the helmet. As you can see, the E2 features a double chin air intake. The top vent is aimed to prevent fogging while riding in cold weather conditions, while the lower chin vent ensures an additional airflow while riding in extremely warm conditions. Of course, the bottom vent on the chin bar features as well a washable and exchangeable filter to make sure that nothing could enter in the helmet while riding off-road. In addition, the E2 features a new top vent adjustable on two position. As you can see in the 3D animation, during the development of the EPS, we paid particular attention on the design of the R channels and on the positioning of the linings. Indeed, the head pads have been placed around the ventilation channel and not on top of them to ensure a proper airflow on the head while riding in the most challenging conditions. Finally, on the back side of the E2, you can see a new and large spoiler featuring an air extractor to expel the air in excess and ensure a permanent airflow within the EPS. We just talked about the new peak and the ventilation of the helmet, which are two must-have features if you want to ride off-road. Since the very beginning of this project, one of the most challenging goals was to merge these features with the comfort of a premium flip-up helmet. To prove the off-road performance of our new helmet, we asked a professional MX rider to test it on a motocross track, which is obviously not the natural habitat for an adventure helmet, but is for sure the most demanding one. So let me leave now the word to Angelo Pellegrini, who will share with you his experience with our new helmet.
Hey guys, it's Angelo Pellegrini. When Schubert asked me to test the new H2 on the motocross tracks, I was a little bit skeptical. Motocross tracks, for sure, is uh, too much for adventure helmet, but I got very good balance and get ventilation. H2 is definitely capable to do much more than what I thought. Ciao guys, see you on the track. Angelo tested and proved the off-road performance of the helmet in extreme condition, but obviously having a stable and vented helmet is not enough for a long travel. You need also a very comfortable helmet. A key component to ensure the comfort of the helmet are the linings. As in all other Schuber helmets, the two linings are made with high-end antibacterial and breathable fabrics from Italy, respecting the strict OcoText 100 standard. The new E2 shares the linings with our recently launched C5. To ensure a perfect fit for all customers, also the new E2 is part of our Schubert individual program, which offers multiple customization possibilities for the linings of the helmet. Last but not least, the new E2 is fully equipped for the SE2 communication system, which we have developed jointly with Sena. Our top-of-the-range intercom is a real plug-and-play system. Indeed, free antennas for mesh intercom, Bluetooth intercom and FM radio are pre-installed in the helmet together with the top-of-the-range Sina high-definition speakers. So, the installation of the system requires less than one minute. The SE2 communication system is based on the latest Sina 50 series, and therefore it features the mesh intercom technology and their range up to 2 kilometers. Here in my end, I have an E2 Explorer Blue fully equipped with the SE2 communication system. But this, obviously, is not the only color we'll offer for the launch of the helmet. Following the latest trends of the industry, we developed a wide color range able to perfectly match with the top-selling adventure bikes and garments. For its first season, we'll offer the E2 in three solid colors and two decals design. The first decal design I'll present you today is the Explorer design, which will offer in four colors, with a matte finish and the glossy finish. The second decal design of the 2023 portfolio is the Defender design, which will offer in three colors, two with a matte finish and one with a glossy finish. Finally, the new E2 will be also available in three solid colors, matte black, glossy white and concrete gray. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation and that you like our new adventure helmet as much as we do. Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Matteo. I think this overview shows how many features and details have been part of the project and as a result are combined in our new E2. We are ready for production now and the first deliveries will start soon. Although, of course, it will take some time to fill the shelves of our dealers all over the world. At this point, I would like to share a big thanks with the whole team at Schubert. This kind of a project can only work if all departments support and pull together. Engineering and design, purchasing, quality, production, project management and so on. It is great to have passionate people on board at Schubert who go these extra miles. And the same is true for all external partners in this project. The development took place in a difficult environment with transport problems, shortage of material, etc. But with everybody's support, we managed to come to this point. So big thank you to everyone involved in this project. However, that's the internal perspective. In the end, what really counts is of course your external view. We are looking forward to your expert feedback and we hope you like the helmet and make it your choice. For today, I thank you very much for your attention, but be sure there's also more to come for next season. This we will share with you in the next episode, so stay tuned. See you then. Now enjoy some more impressions have a nice evening 
and always a safe ride.